guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is a Dessa's Homespun Sense haul and first impressions. I have seen so much love for Dessa and Dessa's Wax here on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, all the places, and her wax just spoke to me. You know how some vendors, they just really speak to you, and some you're like, eh, not really my style, but there's something about Dessa's wax, the way that it looks, her scents, her blends, that really, really intrigued me. So whenever I joined her Facebook group, I saw she was opening for a pre-order in May. I believe it was like May 20th. Don't quote me on that. I'll leave that information down below. But I was like, I need to try her wax. So I... I'm trying this wax for the first time. My friend Natalie is trying Dessa's for the first time. And my friend Lexi are also trying Dessa's for the first time. I know Charity placed an order and Charity loves Dessa's wax. So I was super excited. I have a box full of goodies. But before we dive into it, I just have to say, when you're joining Dessa's Facebook group, Active on Facebook is an understatement. Dessa has the most incredible, incredible way of informing you about your order. So, she posts a pre-order list, which she is opening for a pre-order on July 23rd. So, not this week, but next week. And I believe it'll be open for one or two days. Don't quote me. I'll leave it down below. But... Some of these scents are featured there. She has so many different options for what you can order. And in the parentheses, if you see HB, that is a house blend. So even though it might sound like, like she has one Southern Banana Pudding, it's a house blend. So she creates that blend on her own by mixing other oils, which is incredible. I did a lot of her house blends in this order. I also did some of her favorites and what people really love. But she informs you the entire process. She will post her itinerary, what she's pouring. She'll post photos. At the end of the week, on Sundays typically, she'll make a post. This is what I've poured. This is what I have left. This is the dates. This is the dates that I'm going to ship. This is the dates that I'm going to pack. This is the days that I'm going to do this. Her detail is incredible and I think as a vendor who you're spending your money and you're waiting six to eight weeks on your wax granted I wasn't expecting this for two more weeks she got this order out so fast May 20th and it is July 11th so or maybe her pre-order was May 12th those days the 12th and the 20th kind of sound alike to me so I'm not really sure anyway she was so detail-oriented. It was incredible. Even if I don't like the wax, which I can't imagine I won't, but going in with an open mind, the way that she handles herself, her customer service, by far one of the best, you're spending your money. You want to know what's happening with your money. You don't want to not be informed of where your wax is or be lied to. Like You want to be honest, and you want your money to be where it is and that is incredible that speaks volumes and that is something that Dessa does so well and that is why I am so impressed and even though I haven't melted any, any of this obviously it just came fresh out of the mail an hour ago I know I'm going in for her pre-order because the way that she handles herself and her business she takes it seriously and treats it like a business and that that's just incredible to me. So I'm excited to sniff these with you guys. I'm excited to share with you guys and see if you place an order during the next pre-order. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, you do get a poly bag filled with samples and it says a little sticker, thank you for supporting my small business. And then there's a little sticker here that says, I have too many wax melts, said no one ever. If that, we all say it, but we still order because that's who we are. We're crazy. Anyway, in here is a little note and it says, thank you, Drew, and I hope you love everything. Dessa, me too. And then there are two business cards. 
One says, that's his homespun sense, melt, enjoy, and repeat. And then the other one says, thank you for supporting my small business. Every order is handcrafted and made with love. Join our group on Facebook. And then she lists a little bit of interesting facts about the wax on the back. So it says, our wax is ready to melt. Extra cure time is optional, but not required. Our wax is soft enough to slice with a butter knife or wax cutter. Slice off, slice off as little or as much as desired. Personal preference, start with 0.7 to 0.8 ounces per use. Wax melters and warmers matter and may impact your melting experience. A high wattage heat source will produce a stronger scent for less time. A lower wattage heat source will produce a lighter scent for more time. Personal preference, higher wattage hot plate style warmers with a wide and shallow bowl or tea light warmer. Airflow and warmer placement may impact scent throw. Dry moving warmers to various locations for optimum scent performance and then melt, enjoy, repeat. So I love that she included a little business card that has some information on melting her wax. And I do want to say with this, Scentsy warmers, you guys, are designed for Scentsy wax. Scentsy wax is super light, super, not light in performance, but light and like soft. So the warmers are going to be more, you know, they're going to be designed for that wax. So you can't get a wax that's not designed for those warmers because Scentsy is its own entity. They're not making those warmers for us to melt other brands of wax in them. So if you only have Scentsy warmers, try vendor wax and it doesn't perform great in there, you can't fault the vendor for creating that wax because Scentsy is its own entity. I just wanted to put that out there because I find that some people just write off um, vendors for that reason, and to me, that's just not necessary. Anyway, let's dive into the bag of samples. The first one is Smoky Mountain Berries, and this is actually a scent that is on my list and my radar for her next opening. It's a very popular scent from her, and I've seen a lot of people talk about it. And now I'm glad I got this sample because to me, on cold, first sniffs, it smells, it definitely gives me like craft store, like Michael's craft store vibes with a hint of berries. So this is one I have, I'm going to make a little basket of scents that are being offered in the opening that I want to try before the opening to see if I want more or at all. So this I'm going to add to my basket because I'm not sure. It definitely gives that craft store vibes. Next is Candy Cane Snowballs. Sounds delicious. Oh, and it is. Okay, so you obviously, off the bat, smell a very creamy vanilla peppermint. But the more you smell it, the more you can capture the rich, decadent, like, coconutty cake. That's really, really pretty, really nice. Oh, I like that. I'm not even thinking about Christmas scents yet, you guys. I mean, after this video goes up, um, this is going to fall. So from this video on out, it's all going to be fall. I, I'm so excited. I went fall decor shopping today. I could not be happier. But anyway, yeah, this is really nice. It's, again, like a delicious, decadent, like, um, peppermint cake scent. Next is... Sugared Zucchini Strudel. And I did not order this one, but it sounded really, really yummy. It does. It's not as strong on the zucchini as I was hoping for. It's definitely lighter zucchini than I expected. But it's good. It's not one that I would order, though. I haven't melted it, but... And to me, I just don't feel like it's a strong enough zucchini or like cinnamon. It kind of is just a light, creamy zucchini. So we'll see on that one. The next is Orange Grove. Now, I'm pretty sure this one is a blend that this is an oil that Nicole Perry blended with like Palo Santo and something else. Don't quote me, but I thought that Orange Grove was. And I love citrus scents. Whoa. This... This smells like an orange lifesaver. Like, straight up, super, super candied orange, but like, very bright. Like, you just opened that bag, or 
and stuck it in your mouth, or a candy that, like, when you bite it, the juice explodes, and you get, like, a super rich, bright burst of orange. Wow. This is going to be a great, like, tea light warmer in the bathroom in the morning. That's a really bright orange. I really like that. And then last of the samples is La Patisserie. And this one, I believe, is a house blend from her. It's like a... Now, this is nice. Now, this is cinnamon. But it's more baked cinnamon. And you get a little bit <clears throat> of, like, a rich donut. Like a cinnamony donut. But emphasis on the cinnamon. That's really pretty. I like that. I know that I've had a few um, scents from other vendors that have La Patisserie in it, but I believe, don't quote me, that this is a house blend from her. So, really enjoy that. Thank you so much to Dessa for the samples. Really excited to melt those. Now, the options that I went for in this order were her breakaway bars, which these look pretty similar, or these are called her big bars. Sorry, these are called her big bars. They look very similar to other vendors, which I love this shape. And these were $9.35. And then I also ordered her breakaway bars, which also looks similar to other vendors. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So break off one piece and put it in a warmer. And these, I believe, were $4.35. So those were the two shapes that I went with. I got five of the scents that I thought I was really, really going to like. And then... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 or 16 of these bars. So we have a lot of wax to sniff. First up in the break, big bars, is sweet macerated strawberries. Now, this does not classify on the website as a house blend, but it is a scent that everybody loves from Dessa's, and it's really, she's really well known for it. So I knew I had to get it because I love me some strawberry scents. And the notes say, sliced strawberries coated in sugar until the natural sweet syrup is released. Now, you know, I'm super honest on my channel. You either love me or hate me for it. I'm not a fan of this. Now, I haven't warmed it yet, but it gives me that plastic chapsticky strawberry and it kind of is disappointing because I was really excited for this strawberry but it is not my favorite strawberry it definitely leans a lot towards that plasticky artificial strawberry so again I haven't melted it yet I don't know but sweet macerated strawberries on cold sniff is not a favorite it's okay. There's a lot of favorites here. Fresh bread and jam. Crusty baked bread and sweet strawberry jam. Now this, I, I smelled these really fast when I first got them, but oh yeah, this is incredible. This is that bread and jam scent that I love from other vendors. It's rich, buttery bread and really sweet. Strawberry jam. Exactly that. I love the scent of fresh baked bread in wax. Oh, and this is incredible. I believe this is offered in this next one. So I'm going to have to melt this to try because I love the scent of, like I said, I love the scent of bready jam scents. And for me, they come alive when you melt them, the bread especially. Really like that one. Now, the next two are dupe oils from other companies. The first is Palo Santo. I had to try Palo Santo. And when I read the notes, I knew a rich, smooth, and warm blend of Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. So I knew this is the dupe for the Bath & Body Works oil. It smells just like it. It's that more woodsy, like cedar woody, ambery Palo Santo which I really like this combo. So I was excited to know that because I might do a custom in this next order. And then pumpkin pecan waffles. How can you not get pumpkin pecan waffles in an order? I mean, it's a classic. Pumpkin waffles topped with pecans, warm maple syrup, and brown sugar. And it does say Bath & Body Works type. 
Ha! <sighs> it's it. It's Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and I cannot be happier. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, it's the most rich, buttery, incredible fall scent. And I already know I love blending that with aloe together, so this is going to be a combo I try for sure. And then the last in the big bars is Iced Circus Cookies. This is another one I hear a lot of people talk about from her. It's not a blend that I order from a lot of vendors because I just, it never really stuck out to me, but I heard that she's really famous for hers, so I gave it a shot. And this is animal-shaped sugar cookies covered in pink and white icing with candy sprinkles. Mmm, this li literally smells like animal crackers. Or, like, you open up the bag of those pink and white frosted crackers, and it just brings you back to childhood. I love this. It obviously is artificial smelling. It's supposed to. Those crackers or cookies are artificial. And, yeah, it's it's amazing. It smells just like it. Mmm. I think I cannot wait to melt this one because I know that I haven't experienced this from a lot of vendors. It's new to me, but I really like it on cold sniff. So those were my big bars. Now let's get on to the breakaway bars. The next set of fragrances that I have here are her Main Street Memories collection. Now, I was excited to try the Main Street Memories collection because Dessa loves Disney, and I love Disney too, <clears throat> but she has a collection, all fragrances inspired by Disney. So they have like different themes, and it's called the Main Street Memories Collection. I have one, two, three, six, seven from the Main Street Memories Collection, and I was really excited to try some of them, and they're all house blends unique to her. So let's start. The first one we have is Pineapple Frozen Whip, and this one is just like a cup of pineapple dual whip. So it's that like pineapple vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah, I love pineapple. I don't know why people don't like pineapple and wax. It just, to me, it's always strong. It always performs. That pineapple is juicy, fresh, rich pineapple. You get like that creamy vanilla from like the ice cream. That's really, really decadent and yummy. Really like that one. The next one we have is Cinderella's Pumpkin Carriage. This out of all of them was the one I was most excited to try. And it says pumpkin, caramel, bear claws, waffle cone, and Bavarian cream. The Bavarian cream was really interesting for me. <sighs> I have to take this out. This, <sighs> I pick up on bear claws. Oh, that's fun. I love that. I pick up on the bear claws. It's that cinnamony strudel like bakery scent. The Bavarian cream, you actually get Bavarian cream, which is so cool because Bavarian cream, if you think that's like what Boston cream pies are made out of, and that's what like uh, Bavarian cream filled donuts are made out of. I'm not getting a ton of pumpkin, but I'm getting like the spices that are associated with pumpkin. It's really decadent. Really delicious. I'm not sure if this one's available in her next order, but if it is and it performs, I want to pick up more. I really like it. If you like like a bear claw, cinnamony, strudel bakery, give that one a try. Really yummy. Next, we have Library of Enchantment. Now, this is aged old books, parchment, leather spines, and smoldering fireplace. Really interesting. This is, this is awesome. This, wow. It definitely gives you leather cologne. Like a very high-end men's leather cologne. Aged old books, parchment, leather spines, and smoldering fireplace. I'm not getting a ton of fireplace. I'm definitely getting like an old aged book fragrance and leather. That's really, really nifty. I haven't used that word in a while, nifty, but it is. 
It's really, really cool. Yeah, I like that. That is different. If you like those type of scents, like leather books scents, give that one a try. <clears throat> now this one, Pirate Voyage. This is Pirates of the Caribbean inspired. Sea spray, aged wood, cannon smoke, and musty water. Now, on cold sniff really fast. Yep, this is this is crazy. This literally smells like now, I was very young when I went to Disney. I've only I've been there twice, but once it was really quick. Um I don't necessarily remember the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but I do know, like, from going to amusement parks and stuff, I love amusement parks, I love thrill rides, I love all that sort of stuff. When you go into, like, an indoor ride that is, like, a water park, like a water ride, like a boat ride or anything like that, this truly smells like it. Like, I know this sounds funny, but, like, the grease on the rails, the water, the boat, like, the old wooden boat. Yeah, I mean... A totally an odd scent. I feel like this would be more of like a bedroom melt. I'm not sure where I want to melt this. I just had to get it because it was so different and unique. And yeah, it totally smells like that. Wow, that's really cool. Really cool. Let me know if you've tried Pirate Voyage and what you think of that. Because that that's different. That's for sure. Next, we have Mint Julep Bar. And this is Lime Juice, Muddled Mint Leaves, and Sugar Crystals. My cat is, like, passed out next to me. This is, like, green, right from the garden mint. And lime. Yeah, it's, like, it's literally, you picked mint leaves right out of the garden and squeeze lime juice all over them. And then as far as, like, sugar crystals go, I get, like, a simple syrup note, for sure. And, like, like a truly, like, a mint julep. That's really cool. Her scents are really true to what they're supposed to be. And I love that they're house blends, so you don't find them everywhere. Huh, that's really cool. Really like that one. <clears throat> Next, we have Main Street Waffles. And this is mouse-shaped waffles, melted butter, and thick maple syrup. Hmm. I'm pulling this out to smell it. I'm having a hard time detecting it. <clears throat> I can get waffle. I definitely can get a waffle note. Like a like a buttery ego waffle. Definitely not like a homemade waffle, which I mean I'm not complaining about. It smells like an ego waffle. I'm actually binge watching Stranger Things from the beginning because I watched it from the beginning but then I like totally lost after season two so I'm re-watching it and I feel like when I'm watching it I should melt this because it, it really just smells like an Eggo waffle with butter and syrup on it. Yum! Yum yum. Oh my gosh I have so many of these. Next New Orleans beignets. And this is deep fried pastry dough with a pillowy center and a generous dusting of powdered sugar. Oh, that's that yeasty dough that I love. Yep, it's that yeasty, yeasty dough with cinnamon sugar. Plain and simple. I love a yeasty fragrance because, again, when I smell a scent like this that's really, really yeasty, I know when I put it in my warmers, it transforms. And it truly smells like it's being freshly baked in the oven when I melt it. Oh, that's d delicious. That's absolutely delicious and decadent. Oh, I cannot wait to melt that one. If this is available in the next pre-order, I'm not 100%. This is going to get added to my basket to see if I like it for the next round. All right, those were the Main Street Memories collections. Let's continue on. I only have two scents remaining that are not house blends so let's just get these out really quick i have coastal kale this is a scent that i'm fairly new to i do have a bag of coastal kale from rose girls i haven't melted it yet really enjoyed it on cold but i feel like i need to play around with it because at first i didn't like it 
and when I let it cure, I like it a little bit more, but I haven't melted it. But I've melted it with blends, like Speechless I love. So I wanted to try it from Dessa's, and it is Uplifting Ocean and Cool Fresh Greens, where the salt water meets the dunes. And yeah, I mean, it, it really does. It's very bright. I feel like hers, like, I really get woken up. And it's funny because it says Uplifting Ocean, and I absolutely get, like like the fresh breeze in the ocean almost. It's really, really cool. I really enjoy that. I think it'll be a really good bedroom or bathroom scent. Really like calming. And I know Lexi and I are both really excited about this one. This is Huckleberry Lane and it's Nana's Homemade Fresh Huckleberry Preserves. And I've been loving Huckleberry. I see that a lot more vendors are doing Huckleberry. Scentsy's doing a Huckleberry this season. And it's so good. Huckleberry is like a blend of multiple berries. Strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, I believe. And absolutely, it's a rich tri-berry jam. And I love it. I can never get enough of Huckleberry. And I think if this is offered, again, I'm not 100% sure, in the pre-order, I might custom this because I really like that. All right. Well, this is also one that's not a house blend, but it goes with one that is a house blend. So we'll do that. All right, this is Circus Concession. Now, there's a lot of different Circus Concessions out in the world. Dessa's is really interesting to me. It is funnel cake, caramelized apple, cotton candy with hints of smoldering bonfire. And that is what's really, really intriguing to me. It definitely smells like circus concession. You get like the funnel cake and the caramel apples. But as I take my nose away, I smell the smoldering bonfire. So it's really interesting that you get like a caramel apple, sweet cotton candy, funnel cake type of scent with a little bit of bonfire. And that is what makes this really unique. And I really like it. I'm really impressed on cold with her circus concession. And then she has Circus Under the Stars, which is that with Palo Santo. Now, Palo Santo is the Bath and Body Roost dupe, so it's a little bit more woodsy, and it's crazy. You can truly smell them separately in the same blend. You smell the Palo, and I find that a lot of blends lately with Palo Santo, Palo Santo's sort of in the background. And when I'm melting a Palo Santo blend, like, I want to smell Palo Santo. So, really, really impressed with that on cold. Oh, I love this. If And I know this is being offered in the next one. I think I honestly might get, like, a loaf in this. That's really, really good. <sighs> yeah. I have to, like I said, I have to pull out from this order what's available in the pre-order that I want to add to my next one. All right. The next one... Autumn Campfire. Now, Dessa and I were private messaging uh, before I placed my order, and she said this is a house blend she's had for years. She created herself, and she's still impressed to this day with how great it is. I knew I had to try it. So this is pumpkin, apple cider, gingerbread spices, marshmallow, and campfire. Sounds right up my alley. This is so good. The campfire note is so good. It's that, if you like from Destination Wax, her campfire, which is like really, really smoky fire, that's what this reminds me of. But like at a harvest festival. Because you're getting the pumpkin, the apple cider, the gingerbread. I'm not really getting marshmallow, but I find that that's a hard one to get in blends. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I have to, I have to melt Zessa. <laughs> I definitely do. Oh, that's really good. Really good. If you like a smoky, smoky scent, give Autumn Campfire a try. I really like that. Next is Fall in New England, and this is Fresh Brewed Latte, Buttery Pumpkin, Caramel Sauce, and Cinnamon Streusel. Yum. Dessa, this is like, this is amazing. 
buttery pumpkin. Absolutely. Like, truly a rich pumpkin covered in butter. Without being like lobster butter. <laughs> like, clarified butter. Cinnamon strudel, latte, caramel. Yes, yes, yes. If this is what Fallen New England truly smells like, I need to visit because this, wow, is this good. Mm, I really like it. If you like decadence in wax with coffee, <clears throat> give that one a try. Now, speaking of coffee, we have coffee and donuts. Rich coffee and sweet glazed donuts. Now, this is more strong on, like, black coffee. If you like more sweet, really rich, like, buttery bakery coffee, try Fall in New England. If you like more robust, black, almost bitter coffee, try coffee and donuts. That's what this smells like. It smells like you're eating a donut and there is a big cup of coffee next to you. No cream, no sugar. Next, we have fireflies. And this is roasting marshmallow, cedar wood, damp night air, and campfire. I know a lot of people love this one. And I can see why. It definitely gives you that, like, smoky wood scent. And then cedar wood. I love the scent of cedar wood. I'm really looking for a nice cedar wood perfume. Because I love that in the fall. I love how crisp it is. And you get that in here. And then the damp night air. Like, I picture a really rainy fall night. And then the rain stops. And this is what it smells like. Because the wood on the fire is out. Like, you had a fire. And the water, like, put out the fire. So that's like the smoke that's left in the air. Yeah, this smells like you're at a fire after the rain on a fall day. That's really cool. Really cool. I have some ideas on blending with that. And then we have Haunted Carnival. Apple fritters, churros, hot pretzels, and caramel sauce. You know I had to get this because of the pretzels. Love pretzel. And I really like this. I don't get pretzels super strong. I get more apple fritters and caramel sauce. This really smells like a delicious homemade apple fritter covered with caramel sauce that came right from a copper kettle. Like those rich, that rich decadent caramel sauce, you know what I mean? Where it's loaded with butter and it's so brown when you lift it up, it just like swirls in the air. Covered a beautiful apple fritter with like really fresh fall apples. Mm, so good. And then we have a blackberry buckle and this is a buttery cake batter and sweet blackberries. I love a blackberry in the fall. And this is good. The blackberry, really strong. But it's crazy that it says cake batter because it really smells like actual cake batter and not just like a cake scent. You smell that buttery cake batter, like cake batter ice cream, with fresh blackberries. And doesn't that just sound so good, like a fresh bowl of ice cream with just fresh blackberries on top. That's your sweetness. No syrup, no whipped cream, no toppings, just fresh fruit on ice cream. I love that combo because the ice cream's a little hard and then the fruits are really soft. Oh, that makes me want to go to my local ice cream shop right after this and order it. Go to the store and get fresh blackberries. It's really, really, really sweet and just the right amount of juice. And then last but not least, before I need to like gain 100 pounds and eat all these decadent treats, pumpkin caramel confection. Pumpkin cake loaded with brown sugar, vanilla, gooey caramel sauce, and toasted nuts. I'm pulling this one out because it's so good. This reminds me of a caramel cake, or like a coffee cake. Pumpkin's always hard for me because I smell some pumpkin scents that truly smell like, like pumpkin guts, like you stuck your hand in a pumpkin. This smells like a very rich yellow cake. 
with the spices of a pumpkin spice and brown sugar. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. I I, I want to literally eat this bar. Don't eat the wax, please. Yeah, I want to eat this. This is so yummy. Like, I went fall decor shopping today. I am so excited to decorate for fall. I have so many rooms to decorate for fall this year. <sighs> to be honest, I think once I switch all the warmers in here to fall, this is going in. And if it's ordered, if it's available in the next one, and I like this on warm, this is loaf worthy. This is amazing. Oh, well, now that I have a beautiful box of Dessas to store and melt through, I love this. Dessa, thank you so much for an incredible pre-order. I love almost everything that I got. There's obviously some hits and misses, just like everyone. Everyone's nose is different. You might love what I don't love, and you might hate what I love. It all depends. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It's almost fall. Almost. Have an incredible day. Be kind to everyone. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye, guys.